My name is Joe Almanza. I grew up in a family of organized crime called the Mexican Mafia. And uh, my grandfather and uncles and all my relatives on my mother's side uh, were a very powerful family. We were supplying most of the heroin in the, the mid-United States, Chicago, Michigan, uh, Detroit, all the way down to Texas. So I became addicted to heroin and uh, went to uh, so many drug treatment centers. I can't even count with my fingers. Well, I sold to an undercover agent uh, some heroin. Went to prison for the first time, and uh, when I got down to prison, I got the red carpet because my name uh, carried weight. I didn't want to be a religious person because that's in my culture, that's not cool. You know, they always say, uh, if, if you become a believer or a Christian, that's for sissies. They can't, they don't know how to do the time or, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not, it's for women. It was in the prison cell one night. They keep you in this uh, cell for 23 hours a day and you go out for one hour. And so the windows are all black. They paint them from the outside. But every now and then paint would scrape off and you could see a ray of light come through that window. Uh, one night, it was uh, 1982, I felt really down. One of the practices of people that feel that way in prison is to commit suicide. Because I saw that one ray of light that was coming and I thought symbolically, if God is anywhere, he's up there somewhere, you know, because we're always pointing up and we're always pointing that he's up there in heaven. And little did I know that uh, uh, God was right there next to me, uh, just waiting for me to say one thing, help me. That moment, I just, heroin and all the desires of all that just went away. God came in that prison cell and changed me. And then he started putting people in my life. Uh, as I was going through a trash can to find something to read, I stumbled over a magazine that somebody threw away from the Churches of Christ. I'm a community minister now. It's kind of an inner city church, ministering to the poor. And so what we try to do is to come in here to empower them to take ownership of this church as we become their life coaches. I would be what you would call a red letter Christian because I go and read all the red letters of what Jesus did and that's what I do. Sometimes your mess becomes your message. So if you had some mess, and then someone came and helped you and showed you grace and mercy. Uh, mercy was what you needed. Uh, and so uh, uh, you, you, you got it from Jesus Christ. And so you want to share it with people because you didn't get what you deserved, which was condemnation. You got what you, what you needed and what you needed was mercy. So when you get the mercy, you want to share it with people to say, man, look at the mess I was in, but look at the message I have now. I don't call myself an ex-offender. That's what I used to be. Because the scripture tell me, if any man's in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have been made new. So it's a process. But when you learn to surrender and turn it over to God completely and just relax, don't worry about making mistakes. You're covered. The blood of Jesus covers us. His grace covers us. Mm -hmm.